Welcome back to another video, guys. If you are new here, my name is Anna, and something that has been heavy on my heart lately is busyness. I just recently released a video about how busyness ruins our joy and how I don't ever want to be so busy that I can't enjoy the little moments. And I feel like this video is a great addition to that. So today I'm going to be talking about small ways that I have personally simplified my life to bring about more joy. Something that I found that keeps us too busy is our stuff. If we are honest with ourselves, most of us have far too much stuff. And one of the most obvious ways to simplify our lives is to declutter. We live in just a little over a thousand square feet and there are four of us. And on top of that, my husband and I share a closet in our bedroom and I have to stay pretty mindful with what we have and have a good look at the clutter and make sure that I'm cleaning things out often. I typically have a rule that if I bring something in, I have to take something out, which results in either selling or donating. Since we are low income, I almost always sell things if it is in good working use, which means for clothing that there are no holes or stains on it and most of the time I will put those on a secondhand platform to resell and when it comes to the kids things we are not quite sure if we are done yet so those go into vacuum seal bags and into labeled totes until further notice. Another area I feel like is really important to assess in your home is if you do have a lot of what is considered stuff and not an essential. A good question to ask yourself is, does it actually bring you happiness or do you just keep it because? For me personally, my home having a little character is important to me. So there are things around the house that I'm going to have to dust and that's the cost but for you it may be something completely different it may be your workout equipment that takes up a lot of space or some camping gear because you are obsessed with being under the stars at night and i think to just really look within and decide what it is that makes you happy versus what it is that you know, we just hang on to out of this odd fear of getting rid of it. Sometimes there are seasons where we have to let something go. For instance, recently I've been purchasing my almond milk instead of making it because I have some other priorities that I'd like to put in front of it and that's okay. It's not really cheaper to make it, but I do think now that it tastes better homemade as well as, you know, some extra health benefits, but I think just accepting that we cannot be perfect in every single area of our lives. We have to cut corners somewhere in something and it's up to you to decide what that is. I've also been working on letting go of my perfectionism as well. It's pretty easy to get sucked into perfect Pinterest homes and super organized everything to the point where it's not even functional. And I am really shooting for full functionality in my home versus just pretty. 
every single time i try to make my fridge look like the ones in the photos no one can get to anything because everything that is unattractive has been put into a place that it was not meant for or not meant to be so i have embraced getting in and out of my fridge and being able to cook a meal for my family with ease Another thing that I really love to do is to keep our wardrobes pretty small and transitional. Everyone's wardrobe can easily be transitioned from spring and summer to fall and winter with just a few added pieces. So for me, it's things like sweaters over my summer dresses, and for my daughter, it's things like cardigan and thick tights. This type of thinking has really helped keep the clutter at bay and simplify all of our closets. Something else that I've been very conscious about lately is just preparing to relieve any chaos. And that means if we have somewhere to be the following day, I plan ahead of time. And I know that this might seem like a no brainer, but often we get pretty lazy and think to ourselves, oh, I'll just do it in the morning. And then what happens? We get burnt the next morning trying to get everything done, especially with kids. And then we end up late. So I will iron clothes. I do baths the day before. I go ahead and wash my own hair and style it, prep the diaper bag or well, now it's a lack of diaper bag. I used to carry around a great big diaper bag everywhere I went. And now that I'm a mom of two, I feel like I have finally simplified that and moved into just using these little mesh zipper bags. I use these little mesh zipper bags for everything. I get them off of Amazon. I'll try to link them below. And um, what I do is I just put diapers and wipes in a smaller one and then there is a bigger one that I put that into and I've just learned how to fold their clothes and compact it all into one little bag. And honestly, it's a breath of fresh air not having to lug around a large bag anymore. Since we are on the topic of kids, another way that I have simplified things in our home is by not letting my children have all of their toys at one time. I do weekly toy rotations, and so they have a total of about six toys, give or take, throughout the week. And this prevents massive messes as well as burnout. You know, if our kids see all of their toys all of the time, then they really just take them for granted. And this method has really prevented that from happening. And I also encourage you to assess your kids' toys often and decide if they are developmentally appropriate. And if not, then definitely get them out of your way. Having a home for everything has changed my life. I used to have plenty of bins, but they were never categorized and we couldn't find anything. I would have my nail care and vitamins all mixed together and just random things thrown all over the place. And once I spent some time grouping things and labeling things. It was a game changer. And if you haven't done this, it takes just a couple of days and it is truly worth it.
I love making everything from scratch. I love cooking and working with my hands. I find it super relaxing, but I do think that it is important to have a handful of meals that are simple to turn to. We aren't always going to be up to spending an hour plus in the kitchen every single evening. So I like to choose a few meals throughout the week that I know are quick and simple for when I'm either tired or pressed for time. If you did not know, you can air fry frozen shrimp and it turns out absolutely delicious. I'm just mixing a sweet sunflower seed salad and topping the shrimp with some spicy chili sauce. This takes about 10 minutes to prepare and I just put everything on a wrap and it's delicious and just having these couple of meals on hand has helped me make the most out of my weeks. Instead of being in the kitchen cooking and cleaning and missing out on the things that really matter, this allows me to have a little bit more time either before dinner or after dinner to be with my husband and children. And honestly, that is what matters most to me. I hope that this video has blessed you with some ideas on how to simplify your life. If you made it this far, I appreciate you for spending some time with me today. Lord willing, I will see you all at the next video. Bye.